Ooh, big TV advantage. Um, you could go. You could go with like Ram Tut or Setek. Oh, he's only he's got eleven men though. Only eleven men. That's good. Dirty player. I'm a ten tomb guardian. <laughs> that's that's a nice idea, isn't it? A couple of mighty blow. But even twelve twenty's got a couple of mighty blows. So you know, six two one. Fumble. His coach name's Fumble. Yeah, BB Snort, maybe. Maybe. We'll see what happens, though. I mean, the obvious thing here would be to get Setek, wouldn't it, I think? Maybe it's Crystal. Yeah, Crystal played. I've played Crystal once. Uh, I was very honoured in, in ranked. I kicked his ass. <laughs> but I was I was pretty I was pretty pleased to, to finally play him. Oh man, he's gone with a wizard and an ego. I don't really like this. Like it, it, it might work out for him, but the ego's pretty crap, isn't it? Way worse than an apple. Oh, and he scummed a he scummed a bribe. Okay, so he spent three fifty. I don't know. If I, he's gonna spend three fifty, I'd probably rather just. Uh, Where's Setek? I couldn't find him. But let's find him on Fumble. I mean, it could work out for him, the wizard, obviously. I'm not saying it's wrong, but I think I would have gone for then Setek. Setek's 220, so he could have gone Setek and a wizard if he was going to scum. I think that would have been better than a fucking Igor and a, and a, and a, uh, and a bribe. Or he could have just gone around to it. I'm gonna kick. <laughs> and the reason for that is if I'm on offense against a wizard, it's gonna be hard, isn't it? Um, and Ken, you're a bit, you know, he's only got 11 players. I'm just gonna try to draw, basically. If I can stop him here, it'd be good, wouldn't it? 11 players to try to stop him. But I think it's easier to stop Kenry than it is to score against them. If you see what I mean. I think they're better on defense. Glorious! Glorious! <laughs> Thank you very much, Owen. Ah, oh, that didn't come up as a, as a resub message, but that's a shame. Anyone know what to do if opponent breaks FFP rules in CCL? Oh, I don't know, Elliot. I don't know what you should do. <laughs> I don't know what you should do. No idea. But thank you very much for staying fantastic. Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah, and he spent two fifty, and he's got fifty left in the bank. He spent three fifty, and he's got uh, fifty left in the bank. So. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think put him on the bench, so I've definitely got him to score. I mean, this this is a bit risky receiving, isn't he? Yeah, kicking, receiving a man, but it's just hard against all the strength five and stuff. Whereas if I take one out now with a lucky blitz, it's going to make my offensive drive easier. I've, I'm scared of losing the Kenry, even with a big TV advantage. So yeah, I think this is good. Yeah, I had to go idea pause, yeah, try to pause it for as long as possible. Maybe you should do it in the uh just in the main general so that more people would see it how we are maybe don't know keep spamming them yeah. you can foul also it's easy to foul on defense isn't it um 
And it is on offense, he's got to protect the ball while fouling. So I think, I don't know, I mean, I'm not saying I'm right for kicking, but that's just explaining why I went for it. Hey, that's a good start. Oh yeah, because you've both got to you've both got to confirm it, haven't you? So I guess yeah, as long as you just quit and then I'd get him to concede, <laughs> and then uh, and then neither of you confirm, and then get them to reset sometime. Yeah, maybe. And now is exposed to Tomb Guardian, which on defense people can protect the Tomb Guardians a lot better and everything, can't they? So I think I, I don't I don't hate kicking here. Looks like he is gonna get a gang foul though. Whilst protecting the ball with a brine. Wow. Sacrifice to Tomb Guardian. Into this guy. Could put guard in there, punch him, punch him, but then who do I blitz? Mm, nobody. Mine, mine, <laughs> his arm wolf. VIP, his arm wolf. Uh, oh, I can't remember. The stats don't lie. The door is always right. There you go. <laughs> mine, mine. Mine, mine. <laughs> Hello. I told you about mine, mine, right? Yeah. 
even if a nod from the law. Yeah. That <laughs> fucking showed him what for, didn't it? Little Vaz, eh? <laughs> fucking banged him there. Prick. <laughs> He'll never make that mistake again. <laughs> Hello. Oh, dear. Do that before the foul is genius. Sent off, please. Please send off. No, it was a nine. Fuck. Hey, why was it a nine? Oh, because he rolled. No, eh? Oh, because he rolled a six and used Dirty Player on the uh, armor. Okay. I always get excited on, on KOs because there's a good chance of it being a double four, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, BB Snow, yeah. Yeah, sad but true. My card can come in and wreck a Rooney them. Fucks. Oh no, I can't, not now. Oh shit. Good. Oh, this can be a crazy turn. Guard in here, 2D, 2D. Block him, assist in, uh, another assist in, block him, uh, not easy is it, right, he can block him, no, no he can't, high strength 4, okay, uh, so maybe the guard has to go in here so he can block him, then he can 2D him, he could follow as well, then I can blitz him with the claw. And then he can just 1D and then he can 2D potentially. Yeah, okay. Not easy to blitz him now, is it? He could block him, and I could blitz him. Big fat nothing. Get in. What a fucking pathetic turn. What a fucking pathetic turn. Oh. Hello, Machina. Oh, I didn't. I didn't message you there last night. Um, but that link looked amazing, by the way. So yes, I'll I'll send you I'll send you the link now. I think if I can. I even sent you the PM straight away, so that I could I, I would have it on my list to send you it afterwards. Um, why? Because I uploaded Wimger um, when I was thinking about.
That's brilliant, isn't it? He gave us up about five or six blocks there. Gets one back. And Kazz's. Get in. At least it wasn't the guard guy. I'm gonna have to leave this guy unmolested, aren't I? Can I hit the ball here? Maybe. Could block him, claw him. And then there's a ball hit, isn't there? because I can't knock anybody over ever. Jesus Christ. He's probably thinking it's a great strategy at the moment, isn't he? It's like, this is brilliant, my guys never get hurt. I'll just keep going like this. Hey. I think I'm defense against Ducky. Um, I would, or Muldridster, etc. Then maybe I'll have to, but I don't think against bad players. With all due respect <laughs> to my opponent here. <laughs> I like to get in the habit of being super safe. Maybe fan fox, maybe. <laughs> hey, at least the strength five is hard to deal with. Like, you know, Kemri basing, even though some of it's armor seven. Um, at least the armor, nine, like, you know, the strength five, the four strength five guys are pretty tough to deal with for a lot of teams. Yeah, maybe that's what they think as well, yeah. Down two. <laughs> Indeed, under them. Like, to be fair, if you went all in in poker every time you had, like... Fucking two, three. That, and you won every time. You'd start to think you were right, wouldn't you? Dirty player this turn, then don't I? Right. Oh god, there's a surf. Oh man. Oh man. 
Don't make me do it. If I blitz him, I could 2D with Claw. I can't double do it. It's got to be a 1 here. So I've got to do the 1 first. God, this is looking grim strength for on guard. Gotta do this I've gotta do this first. Do this one D first. There you go, no serve. Classic gin. I oh, worry should have done there so I could hit him. And two. Oh, hey! Pushed him all over. <laughs> Glorious push. Yeah, he should have come in there, shouldn't he? You know, we have 2D here. Because we've got that blitz. So, but then this was a safe move first, but. Hmm. Two plus, I'm not going to I mean, re-roll. Yeah, I've got three rerolls. Okay, I'll re-roll it. Alright. I don't know how much of a payoff that is. Four turns, that was an easy re-roll, except I don't have block. So, no. It's only Claw Mighty Blow. If it was Claw Palm, it would be different. But greeting Claw Mighty Blow hits is just fucking dumb. Against any opponent, to be honest. Different if I had the ball and I was winning and stuff, then maybe. But I'm trying to defend, aren't I? You know? Oh, look. Skull both down. That's what would have happened if I'd re-rolled Claw Mighty Blow. That's true, BB Snow. That's true. Look look how annihilated my defense is, though. If he goes down, then he just blocks him, and then he's through. <laughs> it does work for mine, too, Devlin, yeah. But then that's right, because they should be re-rolling it, because it gives them a chance, and it's the only chance they've got. So, so that's absolutely fair, then. I mean, my defense is still hard, but if, if that claw mighty blood been down, it would have been even worse, wouldn't it? Oh, he doesn't follow. If he'd follow, there could have been sexy chain possibilities, couldn't there? Christ, all teams on the floor. I can't see the fucking camera. He's out of rerolls, that's something I guess. There you go. Out of rerolls, right on cue. Kazes himself. <laughs> How is he playing? Regen. Just got a blitz there. Huh. There's a double skull. That's what I would have got if I had a reroll call my evil. I don't know why I did that. Oh, because it was safer, I guess. I've really got nothing here, have I? The guard guy. One day him to get with the wrestle guy doesn't even get back. Fuck off. Not ego saved him. Well, it is worse than an apple still. <laughs> you know. <laughs>
Carl was annoying. Yeah, you can't judge it on, you know, like, look, 2 7 is a worse hand than aces, isn't it? But they don't win every time they're ahead to head. Obviously, sometimes the ego does something. But it, it's still a, an over costed inducement or a poor inducement, whatever you want to say. But it's worked out from this game for sure. The bribers maybe let him make more fouls than he would have done otherwise. So he's looking pretty good on his uh, inducement so far. But I still don't think they were the right ones, even though they've rolled well. How you roll doesn't make your decisions good or bad, does it? That's the thing. Yeah, it's still bad. It's still way worse than an apple. It's way worse than an apple. Because an apple is a 3 plus. Or 100%. An apple is a third of the time. An apple is a 3 plus. Kind of a 50-50. And... Sometimes it's a hundred percent. Ego's always fifty percent. So yeah, the ego's absolutely definitely worse. Yeah, no, you don't. That's the point. <laughs> right, it's a double GFI and need an assist as well, um, which is a GFI. All right. So now let's move him to there. Five, six, seven. He's five, six. Block him, and then he goes in there. Don't surf, but he gets to go there so that I can push him away. What if I push him to there? Then that's three, four, five, six. Then I push him to there. So no, it's probably not worth it. I should probably do this block here. Good. No surf anyway. Absolutely standard. He goes there. Get the pal. Can he get in now? Then it's only one GFI to hit. No, two. At the moment, this is three GFIs to hit with Mighty Blow. If I go around the back, then there's only two GFIs to hit without Mighty Blow, and then the Mighty Blow is there for recovery. Just sucks that I don't get hit with my e blow. How pretty doing there he is for the recovery. Um didn't fail it. Outrageous. Um, he could dodge double GF fighter there. Does that achieve anything? Not really. Let's punch. Yeah, defensive bolt. Mighty blow guy, cast. <sighs> Apple Riggs had already taken the cast. I want 11 men. Yeah, I don't think it was a great choice. But I mean, it wasn't bad, was it? I and mean, if he scores, at least it's still a draw. Potentially. Better than him turning me over on offense. 
I haven't caused anyone though, have I? Which sucks. Maybe I should have tried to dodge that warrior, but he'd have probably failed. That was a good move. He was being a very greedy boy there. Very greedy boy. Alright, so he can dodge and double GFI to hit. Now he can dodge. And double GFI to hit. So he's just got to stand up. He's got to just stand up. He's got to help to base him. He could base the ball, I guess. Do actually have a soaring to it, yeah. Alright then, yeah, I <laughs> could have done that first. <laughs> oh, cars. Regens though, because no cutscene. So I've done absolutely nothing to an 11 man, mostly armor 17. <laughs> It is the vaguest chance of something if he somehow if he somehow fails to score here. There's the vague chance of some kind of passing handoff play, isn't there? The eagle and the wizard's gone. I mean, stopping him scoring with using his wizard and stopping him scoring is is living the dream. So there's a chance of that, and there's a chance of having eleven men for the second half, and there's a chance of him having ten men for the second half. So. Yeah, there's a chance of this being a pretty good half. Obviously, if he scores, it's been it still has been that bad because at least he used the wizard to score it. He's out of re-rolls. I don't even know what his play is here. Uphill it. Look for a favourable bounce. Maybe a catch. No, I should have followed. I might have caught it. I think we should have followed that 100%. Don't tell me it's going to be the Black Hawk all over again. <laughs> Good. Oh, I thought he'd caught it. Oh, he caught it! <laughs> oh, brilliant. You're telling me there's a chance. 
And he can hand it off to him and then he can pass it. Glorious. Um, do I just do a hit? I don't want to claw anybody because I might roll a one in nine. I don't even want to hit him actually. Fuck it. Let's just try and go for the uh, go for the pass. That's a yellow. So if he can intercept it, I don't know if he can intercept it or not. He can. Then there wouldn't be an intercept. Come on, lad. Do it. Yes, sir. <laughs> the seagull has landed. Glorious. <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> Glorious. <sighs> Brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> God, that was pretty good, wasn't it? <laughs> Thanks, gosh, good time. Yeah, it was pretty it was pretty much the same as Skaven, wasn't it? It was like three squares away from my own end zone or something. Crazy. This guy stays out. So it's nine. I uh, know ten versus ten versus ten still, because I've got twelve, haven't I? Uh, six, ten, three, six, ten. Yeah, ten v ten. Wizards gone. Glorious. Thanks, guys. How are them? Well done. Okay, Scott should be agility too. I mean, that is what makes. To be fair, that player there is why Chaos are better than Nurgle at winning, isn't it? Because. Unless you were fortunate enough to have Pestigors in those positions, you just couldn't do it with, with Nurgle, basically. Seagull no longer eating dog, turds and asterisk, 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 <laughs> butts. Slap up dinner tonight for the lad. <laughs> Thanks, Henry Judas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. The canoring threat did pay off there, didn't it? I, I, I thought he'd have stood that guy up, but he didn't. I was just literally shocked. Nearly didn't even see that he stood him up. Um, right, he can get the ball. It's a blitz draw. I can just blitz this blitz draw. Seems like a good idea. Gesundheit. <coughs> Gesundheit. <coughs> One, two, three, four, five, yeah. Exposes him to a blitz on a blitz. But what's this weird asymmetrical formation? I don't understand it. I mean, this is a bit shit, bit of a shit setup here. Hopefully, he doesn't get a perfect defence or a, or a uh, fucking blitz. Hans Meyer. All right, good. So that's easy. I don't need an assist, but one, two, three, four, five. I may as well just go here. Uh, but then he's there. Yeah, okay, let's block this first. And block this. the strength one, fuck. No, he's the fucking strength one. Mate, it's a three now though, that's good, isn't it? 
about a three-er. And get this guy to protect the mighty blow and the claw guy. Mm, don't know if they just put it in front. But that means he's got the dodge out on the side, but here he might pin him with a blitz. It's only a wrestle for cunt, isn't it? Big fat nothing. Brilliant. So feeling confused here as a claw mighty blow hit doesn't make a removal <laughs> for the tenth time in a row. No, ninth, sorry. So you can always come through in a pinch. <laughs> yeah, the flamethrower brachiosaurs are uh, absolute badasses. Bad Absolute bad asses. What do you think about giving any of guys frenzy? Sure, yeah, on the cards for the wrestle got, yeah. Yeah, he is getting he is getting pushed up against the sideline there. I thought he would. That was the that was the bad part of standing in there is that he gets wow, the whole screen shook, that was crazy. The bad part about that was he gets stuck on the sideline, but um, yeah, I think for Wrestle Frenzy is pretty good, pretty good combo. Um, hmm. Well, he stopped me hitting a Tomb Guardian with him, hasn't he? Could blitz him with him to rescue him. I think I just want to get the fuck away from those guys. One, two, three, four, five, and then pull him back. Two guys here. Not loving it. Could be worse. You can't really break through unless he powers him. And if he does, I can always dodge around a two plus. And now he's got three guys over here, hasn't he? Which is good. This game is over, anyways. Wow. I've played two games with Kemri, undefeated, 1 1 0. I don't know if it's in Champs Ladder. Let's see. Um, I 
Yeah, one one zero. <laughs> what a great win rate. That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over. I know he still got the bribe, but I guess with him being one 0 down, he's trying to uh, do something to get the ball. Would you score a sub? I guess I would, but it's just not easy to. Uh, it's not easy to do, is it? Like I'm not pro elves. I can't just, uh, you know, roll some dice and score, can I? This is tricky. This is really tricky. I think there's a one dicer in my future. Maybe this one. You push him and free up two players, including the guard, then do loads of stuff after that. So now him blitzing him isn't so he might blitz him. Nice, isn't it? For this one. Oh no, he's got fucking strength four. him to get him down doesn't seem great because I still want to protect the ball a bit don't I? this guy can come round and he can't 1D him he could uphill with a blitz again doesn't seem great He can get 2 d then he can come through for a 1D. <laughs> no, let's do this. Yeah, Tally, yeah, I think the... Uh I think the problem with bribes is they basically work if the game goes well and don't aren't very good if the game doesn't go well. Which isn't ideal, is it? He could uphill him, but it doesn't really achieve a lot. And he could wander him. But again doesn't really achieve a whole lot. Greed reroll. Gosh, it's all that dude. Hello, Nordic native. Could be, could be a claw blitz here, couldn't it? Yeah. 
Yeah, he's had a he's had a shit turn here, hasn't he? Bag of shite. <laughs> one in nine. Right, so he wants to go here to get this sexy little two dice in. Glorious. And the guard can come in here, which is the absolute perfect spot for him. So he can 2D in. And the push doesn't even matter because the guard's already in. And you can block him. And get a power for the second assist. Two D in. Could one D with him maybe. At the end. Ball safe. I'll stupidly greed reroll this if I have to. Mostly because he was, mostly because he was greed rerunning against me. I read all my claw, mighty blood to die. <laughs> uh, but there you go. It was completely, completely irrelevant, as you would ex as one would greed expect, is which is why it's a bad greed, greed right. reroll. Greed there you works. go. Mm, could go forward again, I guess. He started it, yeah. Yeah, that's it. I haven't got an app and you know, any hit you can kill somebody, can't you? So it's a bit always a bit scary. Fucking cunting cunt of a fucking shithead. Fucking cunt. Cunt fucking cunt 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 fucking beast. <laughs> That's true on both counts. Hello, I can style. <laughs> Where's the 14 star player point beast man? Uh, that's a good question. This one. Good question. Good question. Oh shit. That sucks, Nordic Native. My condolences. Wow. Um, yeah, that really sucks, doesn't it? I do, I'm, I'm trying to level my guys up. I, this is who I want them. I mean, the 14 going to 17 isn't so important as this guy getting them. Or this guy getting them. But. You know. Hard when you just get dice powered all the time. Do I just need him to not be there? Hey, made a cars. Claw. Claw making the cars. Mighty blow, not necessary. Where's my guard? Ah, oh, stunned. I 
I mean, it's super easy to get the ball at the moment, which is a bit of a concern, isn't it? I think he's got to block him. Oh, then he wants to block him. Hmm. All right, one dice in or one dice potentially. Oh yeah, one dice, pal. Get in. And another one. Yes. <laughs> oh. Um. Now he can hit him, can't he, with mighty blow? Fucking nothing. Was going to do that one first, and then do if dodge him out to get the two D there. I don't even hate dodging him here. Anyway, fucking regen. That's fair enough, though, isn't it? Because that E strength five, and I can really deal with him. I should still have two rerolls because I shouldn't agree to that other one, but never mind. I'm fine re doing one dices with rerolls to try and get hits here, but yeah, I think that was okay getting the, getting the mighty blow hit in. The moment he's got to start thinking about doing something a bit mental to try and get the win, isn't he? Rather, cause, rather than just stall out for a one nil loss. He's got to, uh, he's got to try and roll some dice sometime. Actually, expose him to a 2D now that he didn't know before, but then I can't get in an assist for this hit here unless he blitzes. This guy could blitz, or this guy could blitz. But him blitzing doesn't get the assist in. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. It does if this is a. He pushes him to there. Then he can blitz there, assist here, he can push him, then he can go one, two, three, four, five, six, and assist and get the 2D there. Alright. I could do some safe moves like moving the ball back. You might as well punch him. Fair little launch. You can punch him. Almighty, fuck him up. Ho ho ho, got one. Wow, ruined him. Brilliant. That's what I thought as well. It's an invitational um, where everyone's invited. 
that they could, that they nicknamed the devastational because people people playing it to level their teams up and then get their people get killed. Uh, he's a canoring threat, this guy, this guy, flamethrower's a canoring threat. Funnily enough, the, uh, the 14 star player point one. But yeah, not much of a canoring threat. I agree, I'll give you that. I'll give you that, not much of a canoring threat, but it's there. Needed a pal there, I think. Hmm. I guess he could blitz and score. That seems that seems to be the only way now. He's the scoring threat here with GFIs. So, where does the blitz come? I guess he does it. Oh, this guy. Of course. And so, I quad score, and now he's got the ball and a chance to score. Brilliant. Brilliant. Um, <laughs> basically, Kanor really, really likes having a scoring threat a lot. That's it. And he advises people to always have a scoring threat. So therefore, it became a Kanoring threat. That's it. Oh, glorious. Mine. Mine. Oh, Joe with a huge host. If you don't know who he is, you probably don't know who he is now, seeing as he looks like a little baby. I look like a baby as well, but I don't have the, uh, I don't have face cam on. He's a badass! <laughs> Thanks for the host, more that, Joe. You can be my wingman anytime. <laughs> Did you jam toast? Is it yours? Cluck, cluck, oh, because I was a chicken. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> I've played, I've played Merlock Joe before, and he just ruins every team that I play him. <laughs> every time we play, he just fucking annihilates my team. So, I would say it was, it was intelligent rather than chicken. <laughs> yeah, no rerolls. I'm in trouble, aren't I? Fucking absolute joke. One in eighty-one. And I had to do that so that I could safely move the ball carrier. It was the last thing I needed to do. Nah, maybe I could have moved the ball carrier just so that if it failed, it would be... But then he, then he would have powered me and it would have been further away. 
at least now he's near the action, so I don't know. Oh, I can't even dodge. I can't even get him back now. And free him up to do what? I can't, I can't free anybody up to do anything, in fact. So the only play is a dodge and a two dice blitz, isn't it? There you go. I mean, that was guaranteed. And that's because I did that fucking stupid greed reroll. It's cost me the match. There you go. Should have a reroll. Don't because I used the stupid. I did the stupid greed reroll. So the one time in my fucking life. I do a fucking idiotic herb derp. I've got a claw mighty blow guy. I'll I'll fucking idiotically re-roll it. I'll, I fucking draw the game because of it. There you go. Brilliant. Brilliant. Fucking A. For one fucking time. It's just stupid, man. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of just getting punished for everything fucking brutally. 1 in 81 there. That was just fucking shit, wasn't it? But yeah, I don't know. I guess I should have... I guess I should have done something better than what I did. Brachiosaurus gets accomplished in a touchdown. Pretty good. I mean, everyone's on the verge of getting a lot better in this team. It's nearly a good team, but there you go, record. No, it should not have been a draw. The, oh, every draw shouldn't have been a draw. This should be like 10-1-0, or, a, a, or it should be like... Wait, wait a minute, how many games have I played? 13, it should be It should be 12-1-0, or it should be 13 and all, really. There's been some ridiculous... Been some ridiculous games in this, some ridiculous dice. Some horrible, robbed... Games, but never mind. Um, right, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.